Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am an IT professional with 10 plus years of experience in data and reporting. Today we are going to see the complete process of registering your personal email ID in Microsoft account which will help you to create a free account for Power BI desktop and service. Even though for Power BI development you do not need any account to be created but if you wish to publish it to the Microsoft site which is Power BI service you will need to have one account. So for this entire process you need an email ID then you need to register that email ID to Microsoft site and once you register you need to enable the licensing for that okay so we'll go through all these steps today now let's move to any browser so I'm using Google Chrome and uh, search for Microsoft 365 developer once you search it open this first link and once you open it you just click on the join button so once you click on this join button so you have two options either you can sign in using your own ID which you already have or if you don't have any ID you can create a new one so first we'll try to see in case you are entering an email ID and you are not sure if you have the ID created or not you can check this by this step okay so for that what you need to do put the desired email ID okay and I'll, I'll now click on next so what you can see now so it is saying that we could not find an account with this username try another or get a Microsoft account so I want to use this email ID to be registered in Microsoft website for Power BI development so what I will do I will click on create one okay and once I click on create one you will have this option you can your existing email id and or you can use a new id so this is the new id which I was trying to check so now what you will have to do you will have to add another account this option will come in case you have already registered using your another id so I want to create this new id to be registered so for that I will click on use another account and here here we will use the ID which we wish to register ok so now you can click see this create account option is coming for this ID and we will create a password for this and don't forget this password ok in future you will need this password to log in into Microsoft site or Power BI service use a strong password that is recommended and click on next put your first name and last name click on next you can choose your country region so I'll choose India which is already selected and put your date of birth click on next so now it will ask to verify and you will get a code in your email put that code so if you wish to receive any promotional services from Microsoft you can check this one so I will not choose this one and I will hit on next 
now follow the steps click on next submit so verification is complete so this is a process where Microsoft checks that it is not done by any automation of the robot so for that you need to manually click on the arrows and you need to submit so that's what I did now here put the password which you have just used to create the Microsoft account click on sign in don't show this one click on yes so you need to fill this form now you need to choose the country region then you need to put the company name a preferred languages then you need to accept terms and condition if you wish to receive any promotional emails you can click on this i will not click click on next so now it is asking some questions what is your primary focus as a developer okay so i want to create this for personal project so choose this one click on next you can choose here now what are the things you are interested on so i'll choose everything now mark this capture as i am not a robot it will verify click on save so the registration is complete now so the next step is so we have email id we have registered then register to microsoft we have done it now we need to enable the licensing for this uh, Microsoft Power BI service account, you cannot use your personal ID like which is Gmail, Yahoo, Rediff Mail. These IDs you cannot use. So you need to use different ID and for that you need to set up your ID and I will show you the steps. So I am pasting one link and we will go to this link directly. I'll put this link in the description as well so that you can refer later. So in this under Office 365 tab, you scroll down and you can choose any one of this and try for free. Right now you can see that you have option for try for free here and just click on this. It does not matter wherever you click because it's a free account. So click on this. So it will ask for the email ID which you want to use. This is the same ID which you have used to register in your Microsoft site. So I am putting this email ID, click on next. So it is asking to set up account, clicking on this. And it is a sub form which you'll, you need to fill and I will fill those details. Okay, it is asking for company size. I'll choose five to nine. You can choose anything; it does not matter. Select the country as India, which is already selected. And uh, I don't want to receive any promotional emails, so I'll not click on this. Click on next now. So it will ask to verify the mobile number which you have provided. You can choose text me or call me. I'll choose text, send the verification code and check your mobile. You'll get one verification code. Put that verification code here. Click on verify. So here it will ask to provide some username and some domain name. So username and I'll put domain you need to put some password here confirm the password again click 
click on next now in this screen basically you don't need to do anything so which you are going to see next so your idea has already been created in this screen and uh, you can skip this part so this is for number of license you need and the next page is for your payment information in case you need to put all this payment related information for future now come to your any browser or like google chrome and type app.powerbi.com put the email id which you have already created remember you have created one email id with a domain you have created a new domain then it was under on microsoft.com so we'll put that email id over here provided the email id clicking on submit so now it is showing that looks like you are already a microsoft customer sign in as a this account which you have already created to get microsoft fabric free with your account i am clicking on sign on you need to put the password over here click on sign in if you want you can save it in your browser if it is secure clicking on don't show this again click on yes now it will ask to fill these details and it will ask to put a business phone number here no need to do anything else just click on get started thanks for signing up for microsoft fabric account your username is this i'll click on get started and now we have the power bi service this is we call as a power bi service app.powerbi.com you can use this link to log in into power bi service and if you click on this profile icon over here you can see it's a free account license type is showing as a free account as of now if you want to enable trial you can click on this free trial and it will enable it will be a 60 days of trial period so we'll do these things later but this is to start with you need to use the same id to log in into power bi desktop as well if you need to publish any power bi report into power bi service okay so I'll show that part as well over here. I'm opening the Power BI desktop application. Clicking on sign in, putting the email ID. So it will again ask for the email ID, put the email ID, then it will ask for the password. Click on sign in, click on OK. So we have added your account successfully. You now have access to the organization's app and service. Why it is showing as organization? Because Microsoft does not allow personal email ID. So that's why we have created a domain, separate domain under on Microsoft.com. And from there, we have logged in into Power BI service, okay? So now click on done. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.